Hey, this is Brett, and this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon is stock number 23J60. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Got the brand new Jeep showroom. Come check us out at summitauto.com. And uh, today, going to be going over this Jeep. This one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, puts out 285 horsepower. It's paired up with the six speed manual transmission. It's going to get you 23 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city for an average of 19 miles per gallon. Color on this one is one of my favorite for 2022 and 23. High velocity clear coat. It's kind of like a yellow, like a highlighter a little bit, um, even has a little bit of green hint to it. Uh, but a really good looking color paint codes PJF if you were curious. So I'm going to go all the way around in this video inside, check out all the options. We're going to check out the original window sticker and just show you everything that has to do with this particular Wrangler. First off, this is a Rubicon. You can always tell by the red tow hooks on there. This one does have the satin grill, which is an added option for this package. You also get the factory fog lights. This one does have the uh, kind of plastic bumpers on there. You get the sport hood with that Rubicon package as well. One little Easter egg, they got the Jeep logo in the center of the headlights there. This one does have the body color uh, Highline flares, they call it. Uh, that's a $995 option on this Wrangler. It also has the 17 inch polished aluminum and painted alloy rims. This is a $1,245 option. And they come with the BF Goodrich all-terrain TA tires. These are LT285 70 R17s. And there's a look at the tread pattern on those. So what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon? Well, the locking front and rear axles, as well as the sway bar disconnect. Now, I know you really can't see anything down there, um, but those are the two things that really make the Rubicon a Rubicon, besides the stickers and the red accents on the tow hooks. You also get the plastic shroud there with the sandals on it, Jeep climbing up couple more Easter eggs. You also have the red outlined Jeep lettering on the side and one note for 2023 that's new. They got rid of the word unlimited under the four doors. Uh, so that just happened this year. You get the T50 on the doors to let you know that the Torx wrench that you need is a Torx 50 to get those doors off. We actually did a video on how to take your doors off your JL Wrangler in the upper right hand part of the screen. Check that out. You also get the rock rails with the uh, Rubicon package, and those protect your side of your body here from rocks or whatever you may be climbing over with your Rubicon Wrangler. Inside, let's check out the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm gonna, not gonna go through any everything, um, but most of it, 2023 four-door Wrangler Rubicon 4x4, high velocity, clear coats of color, black interior, premium cloth, bucket seats, 3.6 liter engine, six speed manual transmission does come with the jeep wave membership off-road plus mode true lock front axle true lock rear axle four to one rock track heavy duty part-time four-wheel drive system front disconnecting stabilizer bar rock protection sills heavy duty four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes and electronic stability control and everything there is your standard equipment uh, interior features also standard there and then exterior is standard stuff right there. Now the optional equipment supersedes whatever was on the standard that it takes over. So a uh, high velocity clear coats, 495. Cold weather group is 1,095 bucks. That gives you heated seats, heated steering wheel, and the leather wrap steering wheel. Trailer tow group and heavy duty electrical group is 1195. This Wrangler can tow up to 3,500 pounds uh, with the configuration that's on it right now. You also get the auxiliary switches, 240 amp alternator, 700 amp maintenance free battery, and a class two receiver hitch, seven and four pin wiring, which we'll check out in just a second. You also get the three piece hard top, uh, 1895, comes with the freedom storage bag, rear window defrost, rear window wiper washer, and no soft top. So like I said, it comes with the black Sunrider soft top right there that supersedes um, that, so no soft top there. The satin black grill by Mopar, which we looked at, is 325. The body color Rubicon Highline Flare, or the fender flares, is 995, and then the 17 by seven and a half inch machine wheels with the black pockets is 1245. 
Total MSRP is 56535 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives and availability on this particular Wrangler. In the upper right hand bar screen is a link to our website, so click that and check out us there. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. Your miles per gallon are right there, 23 highway, 17 city, 19 average, and safety ratings are four stars and three stars for front crash and rollover, not rated for the other ones. All right, let's go check out the back here. The other thing I like on the Rubicons and all the ones that come with the painted fenders is on the back here, you get this 3M tape. You might say, oh, big deal. Well, on the used side, when these come in, or if you plan on keeping this a while, uh, rocks will eventually get kicked up and hit right here. It's nice to have that so you don't have to repaint those. I've seen it plenty where they come in all rock chipped up, so it's nice to have that 3M uh, rock guard right there. Here's your receiver hitch. Remember, 3,500 pounds on the Rubicon. Also note you get the red tail hook there, but uh, the two inch receiver, seven pin and four pin right there. Notice you get the red shocks on here as well. Here's a better look at the uh, tread pattern on those tires. So it does come with a matching spare. You also get the HD backup camera, which we'll check out in just a minute. Back storage area. Lots of room back here. This one does have the premium sound system with the Alpine subwoofer. This is your case for your front hard top pieces. You also get a nice storage area back here. Also spots for your door hinge, roof, and windshield bolts. Notice that your bars are all painted here. You have three bolts on the bottom, one on top, so four on each side. You also have two quick disconnects to get this hard top off. And we actually did a demo on a JL Wrangler, how to get your hard top off if you wanna check that out. That once again is in the upper right hand part of the screen, very popular video. You get the plastic back here, note seven slots on there. It is trail ready, of course. There's your JL badge with the two door, four door, wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording and where it's made. So a lot of cool stuff on these Wranglers. And those doors shut really nice. Notice you get the black fuel door here. That's a nice thing to have as well. Comes with the heated power mirrors and enter and go system. So you just have to have the key fob in your pocket and it'll automatically unlock. So the standard interior on the Rubicon is the black cloth interior. You get the Rubicon stitched backrest, get the honeycomb design on the back and bottom of the seat, driver's seat height adjust, lumbar, and these seats do have side airbags now. Factory floor mats, you do get auto headlamps, power mirrors, and power locks. We'll show you the back seats here. Back seats have plenty of room back here. Latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. And the big difference for the back seats over the JK is that these headrests, they fold down. Uh, while the seat is in the upright position, the old JKs, you could not do that. That headrest was always up unless you put the seat down. And when you do put the seat down, they go down pretty nice and flat. Um, and they don't hit the back of the front seats. So that's pretty nice as well. You get your factory floor mats back here. You also get, uh, I believe it's two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. I believe those are standard on the Rubicon package. You get the, lat or the uh, child safety locks on the back doors as well. Let's hop in, check out the instrument cluster and then the radio. You get the seven inch LCD display there, Rubicon animation at the beginning. Note that this one only has 13 miles on it and you do get the digital speedometer on there as well. Uh, all those corners are configurable, really nice. Comes with the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Remember that's part of that cold weather group because you cannot get a heated steering wheel without the leather steering wheel. Uh, cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls. You do get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. And I like that Jeep really hasn't changed their steering wheels. And it's very, um, all the steering wheels are pretty much the same across the entire lineup for Jeep and Ram and Chrysler. So 
easy learning curve going from one brand to the other. Now this one has the 8.4 4C radio. It gives you the factory navigation. You get the four, Highway 41 there, so that's working nicely. Um, really nice navigation system. I like the colors. I like the layout. Uh, you get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. There are your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls. Let me show you that backup camera, how nice and crystal clear that is. Getting hooked up to your boat camper or trailer has never been easier. Um, and those lines are dynamic, so as I turn that steering wheel, you can see that they turn as well. So really a nice camera to have. You have all your different apps on here. Uh, you get your off-road pages, projection manager. We did a demo with the Android Auto if you want to check that out. And then your off-road pages here, they take a second to load. While they're loading, I will point out that you get your more tactile climate, audio and tune controls right there. You may be lost but never stuck in a Wrangler. And here are your off-road pages. So you can see you got your sway bar, disc, sway bar, whether it's connected or disconnected, your front axle, whether it's locked or unlocked, and your rear axle, whether it's locked or unlocked. You also have your latitude, longitude, and altitude. Obviously, altitude's a little off. We are in the picture studio, so we don't get great satellite signal in here. Um, but nice to see it have that you have the latitude, longitude onto their transfer case as well. You also have your accessory gauges and your pitch and roll. Once again, pitch and roll don't work too well inside the building, but also nice things to have. Um, and then as far as all your different apps and stuff, that's everything that we could go through this radio for hours. Trust me. Uh, down here, you get your heated seat buttons, your heated steering wheel button. Mute, start-stop capabilities. You can turn those off. Stability control, you can turn the screen off. Power windows, you get a USB, USB-C, and an AUX jack right there. Front and rear axle lock, like I said, those are what make the Rubicon a Rubicon. Off-road mode plus and sway bar disconnect, and you get your four auxiliary upfit switches, 4x4 shifter, and the six-speed manual transmission. So the side of this says since 1941, my bad. So that's kind of cool. You also have your keyless entry here. You get the nice flipper key. Remember, this is the proximity key, so just have to have that in your pocket, and it'll automatically unlock the doors. And this one you can see has the kind of matte finish red dash. Now, normally I do not, I'm not the biggest fan of the red dash, but I think it looks really good with the high velocity. Um, this is the first high velocity Rubicon we've gotten in, uh, so I do like the yellow and uh, red contrast on there. Auto dimming mirror, SOS and assist buttons, your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And there is uh, the hard top pieces. So these come off with these quick releases there. Like I said, go check out that video on how to take your hard top off. I'll show you how those, how easy those are to get off. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's everything that's Associated with this particular Wrangler, we've pretty much done it all. I'll do one more final walk around. We got all the lights on here. You do get the LED lights on the license plate there. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you will have been able to verify the looks, styling, and options on this particular 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. And uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Cherokees, Grand Cherokees, Wagoneers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications and you will get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Rubicon Jeep Wrangler videos like this one in the upper right, link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We are super excited to be offering the 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon four-door in high-velocity clear coat Rubicon. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.